Hello everybody, my name is Charlie Malone. Hi kids. Uh, and I like to share a story or a song uh, with you as often as I can. That's important to me, that's special to me. And today we are sharing Brother, Son, Sister Moon, uh, written by St. Francis of Assisi a long time ago. It's called the Canticle of the Creatures, which means a kind of um, hymn to the all the creatures of the earth, to the earth. So it's reimagined by Catherine Patterson, and it's illustrated. The pictures are by Pamela Dalton. And these pictures are really beautiful. They're cutouts with scissors and exacto knives. And so look very carefully at the pictures. You'll see all kinds of things that I don't even talk about when I'm reading the story. Brother Sun, Sister Moon, St. Francis of Assisi's Canticle of the Creatures. See the chipmunk with an acorn in its mouth? We come to sing a song of praise to you, O God, the Lord of heaven and earth, who by your power and out of your love have created all things and called them good. So Francis of Assisi is a Christian and so he's singing this praise to all the song of praise to all the creatures. He talks about the God that he believes in. And you may believe in that God or you may believe in something else. That's something you can talk about with your parents. But what's most important is the way that he uses his belief to enjoy and appreciate and praise all the creatures of the earth here. We praise you for our brother Sun, who in his radiant dawning every day reminds us that it was you who brought forth light. Oh, the beautiful sun. We praise you for Sister Moon and all our sister stars who clothe the night with their beauty and like you watch over us while we are asleep. Can you find some of the sleeping animals in this picture? We praise you for our brother wind in every kind of weather, stormy or mild. For when he roars, he reminds us of your might. And when he comes as a cooling breeze, he tells us of your gentleness. Praise too for our ever present brother air who, though invisible, surrounds us and gives us life and breath. Truly, he is a creation in your likeness. Ooh. Can you see the wind blowing through the leaves? Imagine that. This person learned how to cut out that paper like that. I'm sure you do lots of wonderful art projects, too. We can talk about that later. We praise you for Sister Water, who fills the seas and rushes down the rivers, who wells up from the earth and falls down from heaven, who gives herself that all living things may grow and be nourished. Mm. Water is so important. This person's getting water from a well. I don't even need to go to a well to get the water. I go to the sink. We praise you for our brother fire, whose strength warms our homes and in whose resplendent dancing light we glimpse your playfulness. Mm. Look, watching at the fire, looking at the fire, cooking with the fire. We praise you for our sister earth who declares your mother love for all of us as she sustains our bodies with food and our souls with beauty. Mm. All the food of this good earth, all the beauty of this good earth. We praise you for the ones among us who forgive those who have wronged them in the same spirit as you constantly forgive us. And for those who must bear in this life sickness and trial, we ask for the comfort of your everlasting arms. Remember to forgive each other and remember to comfort each other when you're sad. 
You see anybody comforting anybody else in this picture? Look, I think that person is sharing a doll with that girl. We praise you that in this world of hatred and war, you still give us courageous brothers and sisters who offer their lives to make peace. They are indeed your beloved children. And though we often fear her, we praise you for our sister death, who will usher us at last into your loving presence, where we will know and love you as you have always known and loved us. Death is very scary. I see this, these two children are burying an animal that died and they're buried, they made a hole and they're remembering the animal and they're putting the animal in the hole in the ground. For all your gifts, for this wondrous universe in which we live, for family, for friends, for work and play, for this life and the life to come, we sing our praise to you. Mm. Oh, some people playing jump rope. For this life and the life to come, we sing our praise to you. O Lord, the Father and Mother of all creation, give us, we pray, the grace to honor you this day and forevermore. Mm. There's a rainbow trap jumping out of the river. And a great blue heron. Thanks for sharing that story with, with me. I love sharing it with you. And maybe today, just go out and see something. See something outside. Open your eyes. And you could maybe, you could just say right then, oh, thank you so much for this beautiful bird. Or, and you could maybe, you could make a, like a beautiful picture or something like that. Draw a picture, tell a story. Anything that you want to do or with by yourself or with somebody else to praise and be happy with this beautiful world that we live in. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you next week.